Alright y'all, it is your favorite, Cathery, with a dad bod. Sometimes y'all, you are the hammer and sometimes you are the nail. I'm gonna let you guess which one I am today. I could come up with a lot of excuses as to why this race goes poorly. I'll tell you this right now. Um, <laughs> at the time of this race, I'd just gotten back from St. Lucia on a eight-day vacation with my beautiful wife. I'd ridden like three or four times before this. I'd probably ridden three or four times in like the past two and a half weeks. But here's the truth in the matter. I love racing my bike so much on Tuesday nights that I came out fully prepared to just sacrifice myself and um, yeah, give it my best effort. Anyway, I didn't do an intro because I've noticed not a lot of people watch my intros, so I'm just going to try jumping straight into races and seeing what happens. Um, notice the rear-facing camera there. Uh, I got a, an another Osmo Action. It's like their version 3 or something. But anyway, it's got this super wide-angle lens. I don't think next time I won't go so wide-angle. A little bit less wide, uh, but still should give us some cool shots. So anyway, let's look ahead here. We're in... Uh, Richardson, Texas for the Turbo Velo Tuesday Night Crit A race. Look up the road there. To the left, there are four people up the road, I believe. Lap one, we just started. Four people up the road. I decided to come sit in the back to make sure I don't do anything stupid early. And it backfires big time. This actually stays away, and apparently that's been happening a lot in our A race recently. Um, if you look up the road here, we're going to curve to the left. Gosh, you can't even really see them anymore. But notice real quickly here, the field is stringing out. Anyone that races bikes will tell you that indicates the tempo is increasing. So I think what happens here is, yeah, you can already see they're half... Yeah, they were way up there. So, yeah, look in there. We are strung out. Things are moving. And I don't know if this is panic or not. But I'm, I'm probably panicking a little bit because my heart rate's creeping up. And I'm realizing I'm not in shape. This is probably going to be painful if it stays like this. The wind here is coming from my left. It's, uh, I'm, I think, directly out of the south. So... Wind is from the left, and everybody's getting guttered here, probably getting minimal draft support. But anyway, I am, um, I got two teammates in the race, and so I, I'd probably say within like the first three or four laps, I realized this is not going to be my race, and uh, I need to do something to try to help my, look how strung out we are. And I don't mean on cocaine. We are strung out here big time. So things are moving. I'm trying to move up here and uh, see if I can't try to be in the mix. And maybe, oh my goodness, it's long. It's what she said. Oh my goodness, did I just say that? I should edit this. i um, not going to. Y'all know that by now. Holding on to Mateus' wheel here. This guy's a great little cyclist kind of um he's just started racing the a race i think late last year good and good on cadence for picking him up because he's going to be a great cyclist yeah we are moving trying to do work but guys that actually stays away i don't want to give away the punchline here but i am going to get dropped that's why this video is only 27 minutes long i think ultimately what i end up doing is realizing okay I'm, I'm not going to be in this to even attempt a podium, much less probably a top 10. So I decide I'm going to try to work for my team and see if I can't help bring this back. Here in a little bit what will happen is I think we kind of give up chasing. Caden sits on the front and they like get like, I don't know, three or four guys up on the front and they're not doing much in terms of trying to chase down people they have in the breakaway great tactic right we all know how that works and they're probably doing i don't know 250 watts which is just enough to uh discourage people from attacking other than yours truly Catherine with a dad bod me and so i'm gonna uh, i say send it it is not a full send by any means but i get on the front and do you know 400 to 500 watts for uh, a lap to see if i can at least encourage 
people to uh, follow me and, and, and try to reel this back so that my teammates can do something. Sorry, Justin, if you're watching this video, I'm drinking coffee. Because that's the only way to make videos is to drink coffee. So we're at least two or three laps in now. We are still, honestly, pretty strung out. You can even look in the rear camera there. You know, things are, um, yeah, people are working. And here I realize I can probably gain some spots. So I move up a little bit. This may be the first time I go, I'm not sure from way back if I do. And it may look like Cadence is already sitting on the front. Hard to tell from this angle. Okay, so, yeah, Cadence is up there on the front. I'm still a little ways back, kind of boxed in here, uh, but trying to stay protected. My heart rate's at 155. After this race, uh, Intervals ICU told me my threshold heart rate increased to like 163. So that's about where I, I'm, uh, if I get above that, we're pretty done. Hitting 700 watts more than I like to see. Beautiful day for bike racing. The warmest race they've had out there at our Tuesday night crit. We are extremely fortunate and blessed to have uh, Turbo Velo put on this. Ryan Chrissy, uh, the race director, puts this on for us, and it's just an awesome race. Maybe this is the lap that I'm finally going to go here. And again, like, <clears throat> I realize with a heart rate of 160 here that, yeah, I mean, this is how hard I'm working already. It's just not going to be my day. What happens is, is I, I send it a few times to try to reel something back, get people motivated, and um, it doesn't really work. You know, they bring me back both times, which I fully expected, but unfortunately on the second time, there's a really strong counter, and there's counters to the counter, and counters to the counter to the counter attack, and I'm already in the red, and so it just destroys me. I'm not able to do anything. Here, I'm pretty exposed to the wind. Not my best positioning. Try to fall back in here and grab, grab some of that draft. But man, still strung out. Just a lot of... Nice size field, though. Alright, so still hanging on the left, trying to keep that draft benefit here. Heart rate 161, so I am working. But again, like after coming off vacation and not riding, I don't know what I expected. Kind of delusional, most likely, here. On those, on two of the corners, there was uh, water down there, and on the inside, it had like grown a little bit of moss. And man, one time I hit that with a decent angle, and it scared the crap out of me. Oh man, every time out of that corner, we're tapping 700. So here Grayson tries to knock that cone over. That cone was a little bit in the road there. I understand him wanting to get that out of the way. I believe that's Marwan in my rear-facing camera, looking sleek, looking fit. A lot of Pegasus people out here. I didn't realize Pegasus had gotten so big. Quite a few Pegasus folks, lots of United guys, uh, lots of the Cadence Mafia as usual. 
uh, race for McKinney Velo, and uh, we had three, I think, maybe four. Here I go. Nothing huge, but if you notice here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Cadence guys on the front. They're not going to want to do anything. Like, that dude was down in the puppy paw position. Arrow position, but he's going to chase after me. And again, I'm not doing anything ridiculous here, but I'm just putting in an effort to attempt to um, encourage the field to chase this, not to let Cadence sit there, right? Um, we don't want Cadence just sitting there blocking for the rest of the race. This is never going to come back if we don't do something. We're 10 minutes into this race. Got to move. This is my first time watching this, so I think only one of the Cadence guys actually came with me. It's not that they're way back. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap there. But I very much believe I'd rather be the hammer instead of the nail. And so sometimes I will try to uh, animate the race, but when you're not in good shape, animating the race is a bad idea. And we're going to see why. This is one of those videos you should watch of what not to do if you're not in shape. I just resigned to the fact that I, I wasn't going to do well here, so I was might as well get a workout in. Ultimately, once I get dropped, um, I kind of give up, you know, which is what happens when you get dropped. You'll see that. Um, then uh, three other guys that had gotten dropped kind of join up. We end up doing, I basically do like an FTP effort for the rest of the race. All right. And it ended up being great training. I got really good training out of it. But uh, we end up, obviously get caught here. You know, everybody's kind of back together. And guess what? Cadence is still on the front. I didn't realize that so much at the time, but I think there goes a counter maybe. No, no counters. Uh, on the left there, I believe about to pass me is uh, Mr. Looney, who also races for McKinney Velo. And so I'm, you know, for lack of a better word, I'm kind of riding for him. Because uh, he's in good shape, so uh, I'd be okay with seeing him do well. So I'm back in. Heart rate's at 164. That's too high. I'm not sure what I'm thinking right now. Probably just trying to recover as best I can. Not sure what kit that is in front of me. Haven't seen that before, I don't think. Not a good position here, getting that wind from the right. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Josh, uh, another McKinney Velo guy, there he is on the right. He's going to go. doesn't go, but he just gets up there and does a tempo. He is, uh, I think, still relatively new to cyclists, but he's stupid strong. Cycling, he's... Yeah, stupid strong. He gets up there in a minute and does some work and uh, actually puts me in the hurt because I'm still trying to recover from my effort. And he gets up there and just does like a tempo and it, whew, it definitely strung it out again. Man, that rear-facing camera has got a beautiful view there. Should use that for the thumbnail. Well, while we're just riding around, so the, I wish I could make more videos right now. I'm not able to race Tuesday nights much. Like, family and work are just crazy, and I'm not able to train like I want, and it just sucks. Anybody that's a dad is going to know that, man, just as a family and a dad, like, in work, you've got obligations, and cycling is, uh, well, I thoroughly enjoy cycling. I love it. It's my favorite hobby. Uh, you know, my family and uh, my work and my kiddos and all them they, that that comes first you know this is expendable and uh, when i get busy and stressed you know this is kind of what goes first and it's frustrating right now because i have ambitions and goals and i'm just not really able to meet them because i'm doing other stuff i think i'm still going to come out here and race even though I'm not training like i want just because i enjoy the sport and the camaraderie you know and so i'm still going to be out here racing but um, i'm probably not going to be doing as well as I would like to do. You know, I'd really like to have at least a top 10 in the A race every week. 
<coughs> but that may not be doable for right now. But anyway, I'm going to be out here giving it my best. My best. And uh, yeah, it's all I can do at the time. I love being out here and racing my bike, so. There's Mr. Looney in the rear camera. And I think this is where Josh is kind of putting the screws down. Let's see if he's up there moving. Yeah, yeah, this is it, I think. Nothing crazy, but he, he starts working and uh, it strings us out again. And so I think the heart rate will creep up here. And I appreciate him doing this because I think he's probably riding for Looney as well. Seven hundred and forty watts every time out of that corner. I don't know what it is about that corner, but for some reason, we'll surge every time. All right, so heart rate is tacked. I'm at 169 there for a minute. Not good, not conducive to me surviving. And we're still surging 400, 500, 700, 740 watts again. And it is just strung out. Look behind me, you can even see how strung out it is. This was just freaking hard. But, uh, again, not sure what I expected after a big old vacation. So we're, um, heart rate's still at 165. Not sure who that is in the white jersey either. All right, well, I'm finally down to 161. That's good. I am in the hurt locker, though. You can tell because I'm over here on the left trying to get that draft. You know I'm, I'm not feeling well. You know, if heart rate's that high and I'm sitting over here trying to hide. And the realization is probably hitting me that I'm just not going to survive this race. Well, that's good. Heart rate's in the mid 150s now, so that's sustainable. Not sure what's happening right here. Are we letting off? What are we doing? Can't tell who's on the front either. Is that Looney? Yep. So that's Davis Looney there on the white bike on the right and the McKinney Velo kit. Well, being smart here, I'm still hanging out in the draft, so that heart rate's in the high 140s now. Uh, down to 146, that's good. 
There's Matteo Villani there in the leader's jersey. Congrats to him for hanging on to that. Super cool. Proud of that guy. Here at some point, I'm sure I'm going to do something stupid. Statistically, it's very likely. Yes, we've let off the pace. I can tell, obviously, because the heart rate's down in the low 140s now. Not sure if they have resigned to the, the, the uh, break not coming back or not. Oh, here I go. Why not? I can get around him, so I do. Oh, there was Trevor. Trevor K. Broken rib Trevor K over there. Good to see him. No one came with me here. At that, You know what that tells me? And I hate to say it. I'm pulling a Bradbury here. Everybody knows I'm not going to stay away. No offense, Bradbury. Someday it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen for you. Um, but it, no one chases me, really. That just tells me that they know I'm not really worth anything. Man, that hurts to admit. But I'm already in the red. 167. Again, this is not meant to be serious. It's more or less just to stir it up and see if people will chase and if we can get something going uh, to try to bring that break back. Because we're only 21 minutes in. This is probably going to be a 50-minute race. We have 30 minutes of work here, you know. Um, but... You know, what color is that? I think it's a green jersey behind me. So that's just Cadence sitting on my wheel, which is smart. They don't need to come around or anything. But I'm at 168 heart rate. I'm toast. And we're going to start to get some counterattacks here. When the counterattacks start coming, the pace is going to stay high. It's going to stay strung out. My heart rate's going to stay super high for way too long. And uh, that's when I crack. So... The fun part is here for you guys. You are going to get to see that. You're going to get to see what getting dropped and cracked looks like. Go to St. Lucia for a week and then come race the A race. There was that water crossing that was kind of slimy. Here I'm going to let people around. We get an attack on the outside. And this is going to suck. I know it. I think that was Looney. Good move on Looney's part. Not going to chase my own teammate. But I am going to try to get in uh, the group here if I can. So I'm going to try to recover. And I think finally I get forced onto this wheel by Mateus. No, I think he's going to come around too. And I am just here. I'm like in the red. So I, I'm just doing my best to stay on here. I need to recover if I'm going to stay in this race. And that's all I'm really thinking about while I'm semi cross eyed. Fully cross eyed. Come on. 820 watts that time out of that corner. And I'm in a dark place. But just head down, staying with it. Ugh, heart rate at 170 is not good. This is very bad. I'm probably, we're only 23 minutes in. I'm probably looking for lap lap numbers over there. Oh, well, we get a surge at a heart rate of 173. This is bad. This is so bad. Is this where I'm going to get dropped? One seventy seven. Oh, my goodness. This is basically like death for me. Whoa, my goodness. 177 sustained. There's Grayson. He's just looking around, doing Grayson things. Okay, so I get on this guy's wheel. I'm not sure who this is. Is it John? I don't know. But I am, I mean, for all that is... I'm just trying to stay on his wheel. Well, at some point, he's kind of sitting up, and I need to get around him, and I can't, and then he surges, and I realize this is not good. I'm going to get dropped on the backside. Not here. So 175 heart rate. Again, not sustainable. I'm 12, 13 beats above threshold. Um, it, great indicator of fitness, right? Heart rate, it, for me, great indicator of fitness. I know I'm not in shape. The heart rate's this high. Um, so notice a gap here in front of me. I might get, try to get around him here, but then he surges and gets in front of me, and I'm like, ah, I can't. I think if I maybe could have gotten on Grayson's wheel up there, I would have been okay. 
I tried to go, okay, I tried to go inside there, but he cuts over. And staying on his wheels best I can. Heart rate again is still in the 170s. Notice the gap here. If that gap hadn't been there, I think I probably could have stayed with it. But here in a minute, you will see the decline. I will I will physically resign here in a minute. Kind of sucks watching this because I'm like, man, why didn't I just suck it up? It's not the way it works, people. Heart rate's been too high for too long, and this is it. He let the gap grow, which I, I'm not sure why he did. And there it is. Power lets off. Your boy Jacob is done. Cat three with the dad bod pulls off. Time to recover. That's all she wrote, y'all. I'm not going to come up with any more excuses other than the fact I haven't been training. And that is the result. Anyway, some people will come around. Martyr One, I think, is one of them, maybe. Um, yeah, they pick me up. We do some laps at FTP, and uh, I end up getting some great training in. So, y'all, thanks for watching my stupid channel. I'm sorry I don't get more videos right now, but life is happening. But I'm going to keep putting them out when I can. Y'all, we're going to Florida next week, so anyway, we'll not, uh, we'll not be here next week either. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see y'all on the next one. Later, y'all.